good morning and a nice um, start on the week, I hope, for people. Monday is sort of my Saturday. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find something to talk about, so, you know, Corona is always on actual at the moment. Um, at this time I was trying to look at some Finnish news uh, and the first thing that comes up, because at the moment in Finland there have been a lot, less been like a spike, a surge in um, corona cases, even more so than in um, March, April. They have like a live stream of what's going on uh, corona-wise in Finland. And the first thing I get is uh, a headline that says the state epidemiologist of USA, Fauci, is now accusing the election campaign of Trump for misuse of wording. And in a state university of Uyvaskula, there are lots of new corona cases. And this is all squeezed into one um, headline squeezing all the corona um, info of the, from the world into one article. It's, it's so misleading. Um, but anyways, Finland today, 11,998 um, cases altogether. The past 14 days, 200 and 2,316 new cases have been confirmed, which is a lot. The days before that, 1,102. Four in the past two weeks and six in the, the weeks before that. And I think they actually updated these numbers. These are all numbers. Uh, and yeah, that's right. They are a little better now, but still very, very bad. However, people don't really die at the moment. Um, the our oh, person in charge of the health department states that the coronavirus may be uh, maybe the most contagious uh, in the stages right before symptoms even break out, like I guess common flu. Uh, is that very interesting? Not so much. Uh, somebody made um, some sort of a study on how. Uh, the Finnish person's fruit grocery shopping has changed um, during this time. And apparently we buy more root vegetables, which makes sense because it's root vegetable season at the moment. And we buy more um, locally made stuff and we um, sort of uh, boycott more of the stuff that's been imported. Um, pasta and flour and such is very, very popular. A very popular series apparently on Netflix called Emily in Paris. I s I've seen advertisement on this series. I completely forgot about it because it looked so juvenile and stereotypical and extremely just not interesting for me at all. Uh, apparently that's exactly what it is and it's about an American girl who goes to Paris. How many of those have we seen? Uh, and everything is very stereotypical. And it's made by the, the guy who made Sex and the City, which explains a lot. Um, so anyways, people in France, people in Paris have been outraged by the fact that it's so full of stereotypes. And who cares? Because it's American and a lot of modern... Netflix series, modern series and movies are completely shite and they have absolutely no story and absolutely no characters whatsoever. Uh, another thing that's uh, more interesting actually is the fact that uh, Xi Jinping, um, the president, the dictator of um, China, uh, has recently announced that they are going to be carbon-free. China is going to be carbon-free by 2060. They're questioning whether this is just talk. But uh, apparently they've already start, started doing something 
ensure that this actually happens. That makes people wonder if they're being serious. And if they are being serious, then that is a... Oh yeah, and let's not forget about Belarus. Belarus is still not hunky-dory. Surprise. What happens with riots is that a lot of people who shouldn't be um, arrested get arrested and uh, then more people get arrested and then more people get arrested and more people get arrested. As it usually goes and... Uh, so now the country is deemed to be unsafe and the Futsal Champions League on Sunday was moved from Minsk to Spain because of the situation in Belarus. Belarus, I guess it's called Belarus. Yeah, actually, I like the fact that um, in Swedish, uh, what was once called translated White Russia is now called Belarus, which means absolutely nothing in Swedish, but they changed the name, and that's cool. And uh, that's it, because the next video is going to be super long, so cheers.